country singer Zach Bryan has apologized for comparing Kanye West and Taylor Swift. In a now deleted post from September 17th, Zach wrote that the NFL's Philadelphia Eagles were greater than the Kansas City Chiefs, the team for which the pop star's boyfriend Travis Kelsey plays for, and that Kanye was greater than Taylor, adding, who's with me? The controversial post received backlash, especially from Swifties, as there has been a long-standing feud between the global superstar and Ye, as well as with his ex-wife, Kim Kardashian. The situation led Zach to delete his ex-account, but just two days later, he took to his Instagram stories to apologize and clarify his words. Writing underneath a Spotify screenshot of the pop star song Fortnite with Post Malone, For the record, guys, I wasn't coming for Taylor the other night. I was drunkenly comparing two records and it came out wrong. I know there's a lot of stuff that clouds around Ye and I was speaking purely musically. I love Taylor's music and pray you guys know I'm human and tweet stupid things often. Hope one day I can explain this to her. Twitter gets me in trouble too much and I'd say it's best I stay off of it. I'm sorry to any Taylor fans I pissed off or let down. Love you guys and I'm trying my best. In the next slide, above a Spotify screenshot of Taylor's song, The Albatross, the musician admitted that he's been going through a hard time in his own life and believes he was projecting a little, adding, to be completely honest, it just came off as rude and desensitized to Taylor. I respect her so much as a musician, the last thing I want is people thinking I don't appreciate and love what she has done for music. Okay, that's the last of it. Love you guys and hope you guys understand. Don't drink and tweet. Don't drink and tweet. In the third slide, below a screenshot of the singer's song, Castles Crumbling, featuring Haley Williams, he continued to write positive things about her, calling her a force of nature, adding that he was going to listen to a record by her, while also saying that he is not saving face and doesn't want people to think he has a hint of malice or meanness towards anyone. In the fourth and final story, Zach again highlighted that this year has been a lot on him personally, but committed to taking a breather from tweeting stupid stuff as he finishes his tour and grounds himself somehow in the midst of all of this. He concluded by saying, I feel very, very blessed each day. Not taking it for granted and holding on to it has been so important to me. Okay, needed to get this off my chest. Y'all are the best and I'll see you at Bourbon and Beyond.